welcome to Sasha Soul Station. Just to keep it easy and simple, I'm just gonna repeat the topic that I've just discussed in Russian. I had this on my mind for a long time. And I've been going back and forth in my mind. I couldn't really decide and I couldn't really... Um, I mean, I was confused for a while, that's the word. <laughs> I was confused about what time we actually need to go to bed uh, and what time we need to get up. Yeah, that's the question. What time we need to get up. And it's been a big subject nowadays all over the world um, that we're supposed to be getting up at 5 o'clock. The magic number that that's the magic that that five o'clock wow um so for years for years ever since i've remembered myself i remember myself and up until about i don't know nine ten years ago i firmly believe that i'm a night person and I just do whatever I want and I loved it and I loved being a night person and uh, the clean energy and no people around. I really loved that. I always enjoyed being out with my girlfriend, um, you know, walking the streets of the city when there's not a soul around. It's like, it was, it was magical. Um, I mean, we both, we enjoyed it so much. Like, what is wrong with us? Why don't we love people like that? Oh my God. <laughs> That's all good. We do love people actually, but it was something very, um, I don't know, pleasant, seriously. It's just enjoyable just to be on the streets when there's nobody on the streets in a big city, you know, on the main street. Amazing. I love it. Um, so, for the last, I don't know, eight to nine, ten years, I've been feeling kind of bad and I've been hearing this theory that you must get up in the morning uh, to be productive, to be successful in life. Everybody has these articles and videos that all successful people get up uh, early in the morning and they, they have uh, this and this and this, um, you know, routine that they do and it's not a coincidence. Uh, and, you know, for, I mean, after hearing that for 10 years it starts making sense eventually you know it's it kind of brain washes you <sighs> and especially the last two three years i've been feeling really bad about it i'm like what is when am i gonna live by the sun it makes all the sense to me now that you're supposed to get up with the sun and go to bed with the sun um but it's like today I had epiphany. No, like for real, like it is all BS. We are so unique. We all so different. And all you have to do is live by your intuition and feelings. That's the real truth. This is the truth. Just listen to your body. Unfortunately, in this industrial world, not many people have a chance to do that. They all tied up to their jobs to their um, schools, of course, and there are, you know, stores that are open only during certain hours and this and that and just, um, but really, like, if, if we move away from a system a little bit, if we ditch the schools and ditch the um, jobs the way we know them, know them, and actually we're moving away from that. More and more people are moving away from nine to five and everybody's striving to go away from that. So once that, ha that happens for you, whoever you are, if you're watching, um, 
just take it you know that as your advantage and um, use it use it like if you're not in school if you're not um tied up to strict hours of your job then you should just listen to your body you shouldn't be like oh you have to get up at five o'clock or six o'clock whatever it is um you have to get up when you get enough rest. That's when you get up. That's when you get up. When you feel energetic, when you open your eyes without alarm, without alarm. That's, that causes a lot of stress, unnecessary stress. It's really stressful. Alarms need to go if you can help it. So when you finally truly rested, that's when you wake up, that's when you get up. Um, same thing with going to bed. Once you feel tired, once you catch this, okay, I'm drifting away uh, slowly, I'm there, go to bed. Just go to bed. No matter what, if you got sleep at 5 p.m., go to bed. Go to bed. And then wake up whenever you feel rested and move on with your life. It goes to everything. It goes to food. I'm with this intermittent fasting. It's also unnatural if you forcing yourself, if you preventing yourself from eating when you're hungry, and if you stopping yourself ahead of time because your lunch break is two to three and you have to eat right then and there, otherwise you're gonna be if you don't eat by three o'clock, then you have to starve till you get off job at eight o'clock, you know? Don't do that. that. That's how everything gets messed up. Just listen to your body to the best of your ability and just follow that. If you're hungry, eat. If you're not hungry, don't eat. No matter if everybody's eating around you. That's my problem. That's my problem. I'm telling you, but that's what I'm dealing with. I'm, I'm working on, I'm aware of this issue. I'm a food addict, big time food addict. I'm ready to eat anytime, all the time and huge portions. Um, but okay, that's not the <laughs> subject right now. Same with working out. Oh, you're going to be so peaceful and stressless if you do yoga every day no any kind of exercise will reduce stress in the very same way in the very same way what you need to do is find what you like and not like oh i found that and i have to stick with this all the time just do whatever you feel like. Like if your exercise for the day is just go dance for one hour, go do that. Or you feel like running, go do that. But you don't have to do it every day. It's just like in nature, like in nature, what animals do. They run here and there, they jump here and there, they stretch when they feel like stretching. <sighs> I don't know how people don't see it, oh, but I mean, I don't see a lot of things either. So, and it goes for everything. Sleep, exercise, food, everything, everything. I know we don't have this freedom of doing just whatever we want like that, but we have some freedom to some degree and... Um, I mean, I, I know, I know, some people don't have this choice at all, at all. And they and strict schedules with everything. And it's very unfortunate. And I so feel for you because when I was like that, oh my God, my life was stressed, stressed. My headache would never go away. And all I could do when I worked is come home and go to sleep. I was no good wife. I didn't even have kids then. And I barely could cook dinner on some nights and do some laundry. That's all I was good for. It was so 
stressful. It was so unnecessary. And I'm thankful, thankful, thankful that I don't have to do it right now. I kind of don't have to. I mean, we could use a lot more money than we have, but um, at the end of the day, my God, I swear, nobody wants me working. Nope. Because everybody's life around is going to be a hell. <clears throat> Anyways, I guess I'll stop here. But yeah, I don't understand how people can say that everybody should wake up at the same time, <laughs> get up at the same time, go to bed at the same time. This um, theory with theory with the sun, it made sense for me for a while, but then like sun doesn't stop shining. You just kind of goes and we don't see it but it's there's so much beauty at night and if you would really live by the sun all the time you would never see the beauty of the night night the moon is so magical i mean are you serious the moon over the ocean this light is just so mysterious and you're gonna miss that Never see the stars, pretty much. I guess you can see them at five o'clock if you wake up before the sun. <laughs> but anyways, um, like I, not, not only that, not only I look at the um, animals, I also look at the babies. Look at the babies. They do everything when they feel like doing it. They're still in touch. They still have this cosmic knowledge and they're not brainwashed in any ways they don't have the stupidest knowledge they don't have this knowledge they wake up when they, you cannot do anything to put them to sleep nothing you can keep them asleep if they don't want to sleep they're not gonna sleep and if they want to sleep you won't be able to uh, keep them from going to sleep No matter how exciting things around them no matter how loud music and thunder and anything It's not gonna keep them from sleeping if they really want to go to sleep They're just gonna fall out anywhere anytime No matter the hour of the day or night same with hunger. They hungry. They hungry in the middle of the night. They eat in the middle of the night. God damn it. They don't have this intermittent fasting windows. Ugh! Wake up, people. Wake up. I want you to wake up. I want everybody to wake up. Come on. Come on. Um. Yeah. Forget your brain. That, that's where all the problems is. All this knowledge. Just go with your intuition. Go with your feelings. Go with your gut. <sighs> all right. I'm done here. Okay. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. And let's... Let's stay happy. Be true to yourself. Yourself. Be true to yourself. Always. That's the most important thing. Forget all the stupid rules. Always do you. March your own band. To the drum of your own band. Right? Whatever. Whatever the saying is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you guys. And I will see you tomorrow.